great people. Thank you for joining us. I am Chidi Akuna. And I am Victor Akuna. Hey, if you're new to our channel, Foundation for Family Affairs, please do not fail to subscribe and turn on the bell next to it so you're notified when we drop our content. At Foundation for Family Affairs, our mission is to connect hearts and raise healthy, healthy families. Family. You want to watch the interview we have for Ooh. you today. We'll be looking into the lives of an amazing, hot. intentional, mm. and a couple very dear to us. Mm. Uh, we love this couple, mm. and there's so much mm. to unpack from their lives. Mm. You will find out shortly. Mm. We'll be looking into their definition of romance and yeah. intimacy, just exploring mm. how they go about things in their relationship. You want to mm. say something? Yeah, so we asked them very personal questions, and they yes. did us honors of really going really deep to bring out the truth. So, you want to stay tuned. Yeah. Mm. We have Drs. Gaspel and Amarachi Amugo from the Relationship Builders Firm. Mm -hmm. We'll be having a peek, a sneak peek into their lives today mm -hmm. to see just, <laughs> just what makes them think. Why, are they, why do they glow the way they do? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's the behind it. Yeah. So, um, no, you want to join us for this, right? It promises to be an exciting one, so you want to watch it to the end. Stay tuned. Okay, so uh, we'll have you introduce yourselves. Mm. Uh, tell us about yourselves, what you do. I know you wear many hearts, but please, um, okay. the ball Maybe is in your court. Ladies first. You after men, after men. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyways, I was just joking. I'm it's only after men, it's convenient. You go. Anyways, um, thank you so much for having us. I feel like we are on a hot seat. Ooh. Although we're sitting on something really comfy, but we'll try, we'll try our best. So, like you said, my name is Amara, and um, I co host with my beloved husband on Relationship Builders Forum. And this is a forum where we talk about love, sex, and relationship. I mean, this is something we love, we're passionate about this, right? So, um, career wise, I'm a lecturer, he's a lecturer, and that's what we do, and we just go about impacting lives. But I think today, fundamentally, we are focused on relationships. Yeah, and so we're I also know. author as well. Oh, yes, 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 he's an author. Yeah, we author the book together. <laughs> so, the, the point of it is that our passion is to reach singles and married so they can have the best relationship. And we don't just talk about it, we try our best to live that life of enjoying a marital relationship. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. So they don't just preach, leave that what they preach. That's right. And um, one, one of the things we want to talk about today, we want to find out about their romance, their understanding of romance, their understanding of intimacy. So that's what we want to learn today. Of course, we know that, um, you know, sometimes people have the, just before mar marriage, they have those beautiful plans of mm. what they want to do. Oh. Okay, some people, Maybe unexpectedly have uh, taken the conceive and you know start expecting the baby and they're like, ooh, is this going to affect our lives? Or will this affect what we planned? So we would we would want you to also you know bring some perspective to that. Okay. Okay. But before we go, on, let's um, hear from you. When you hear the word romance, what comes to mind? Wow. Romance. Mm. <laughs> It is a buzzword. It's a word that mm. makes you feel excited. Yeah. Um, especially if you look at it from the point of um, young people who are not married, um, maybe teenagers, and you hear romance. When I remember when I was in secondary school, yeah. you don't even say the word romance because if you do, it seems like you're looking for something or that yeah. is beyond yeah. your what you're supposed to have. boundary. Yeah. So it creates that sense of attraction, mm. maybe I'm sexually attracted to someone, yep. mm. those are the misconceptions, you know? mm. but for us, the word romance means, um, if I bring in the context of our relationship, mm. it means having that feeling of affection towards my spouse. Yeah, mm. and I, I think for me, it's mm -hmm. just what, what comes to my mind when I hear romance is a flame. A flame? Yeah. Oh, how do you mean? I so need to know. it's you know it's something that it's for me it's a constant reminder that mm. I have to always have my relationship on a burning burner. Oh. Because oh. a lot of times we go oh. through the motions of life oh. and things happen. Oh. But that romance is that thing. It's not just a spark. 
Oh. Right? It's a flame. Because oh. a lot of times we look at fire and we look at flames and we look at it from a destructive point of view. Oh. But for me, I think it's just something that sort of hits up. Mm. 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 Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm liking. I'm, I'm actually liking her explanation of it yeah, because yeah. at the end of the day, it comes yeah. up. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow. But <laughs> yeah, but that flame cannot keep burning if you don't have mm. yeah, positive mm. love action. Mm. So if you look at romance, it's not mm. just about the emotional attraction. Mm. Yeah. The, the burning fire to you know be connected to someone oh, you should also look at the actions the mm. love actions mm. that express enables it express how you feel absolutely mm. so you can't say you love someone mm. and your actions are contrary mm. to I like that, that. Yes. Mm. Yes. and those actions are things that they talked about in terms of being intentional yeah because it's just you know most people think that if i marry my soulmates the romance will come natural you know, mm. I'll just do this thing. So even if you marry a soulmate, soulmate meaning this ideal thing, you know, you have this um, euphoric concept of this one person is suitable for you. So, mm. But we'll go, that's a topic for another day. But what we're talking about is even if you marry your best friend, you have to be intentional about Absolutely. making sure that that flame, doing the things, the actions that we talked about, mm. yeah. that will keep that fire burning. Yeah. Otherwise, the issues of life will quench it. Okay. Thing from the external, yeah. your relationship, Challenges you're going at the time, not having a child on time, different things can extinguish that. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. I like that. This is getting <laughs> deep. It's yeah, really yeah. Getting deep. getting deep. Okay, I, I, I love it. So, I, what I, are your definition of romance? Okay, well, we define romance as the little but consistent things you do on a daily basis in pursuit of your spouse's heart, Absolutely. attention, and happiness. Wow, that's really deep, I would say. But it's still back to the flame thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, so it's those little things that you do yeah. on a daily basis yeah. that will not keep yeah. that flame. It has to be intentional. Burning. Exactly. It has to be consistent. Exactly. Mm. You're not just doing it because you want to win her. Over. Yes. You do it because this is who you are. Yes. yes. Sometimes people before yes. marriage you go all out to make sacrifices, yes. Yes. buy things. And bought expensive things mm. that I didn't even have money for mm. to, you know, yeah. mm. don't look at me like that. <laughs> to, show, to show my wife how much I love her. Yeah. Yeah. Now, if after marriage yeah. I decide to stop showing, you know, yeah. my heart is, um, expression of love for her, mm. it's it not that. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. See? So consistent. Yes. Consistent. consistent. Yeah, it has on a consistent. daily basis. Mm. Not on February 14th. Today. Exactly. I <laughs> want to say that. Not a one off event. One off event. Or a birthday. Birthday. Yes. Yeah. Or wedding anniversary. Yeah. Mm. All right. So because if you have your plans, you don't just water it once a year. Mm. Mm. You know what's going to happen. So consider this as sometimes we say that uh, relationships are like living organisms. Absolutely. How you nurture them, that is how they bloom, how they blossom. All right. So this is just the concept of romance for us, and it's the same for, for mm -hmm. them. We're just using different term, terminology to describe the same thing. But if you are in a romantic relationship, you will know because you will be prioritized. Mm -hmm. You will feel like coming home. Absolutely. You, when you see the person, you blush. You know, mm -hmm. you, you are like walking on air. So that is what we're trying <laughs> to do. Now, some people have the concept yeah. that uh, it only is only for newlywed. How long have you guys been married for? Mm -hmm. Well. Oh, next, gosh. next month will be 13 years. 13 now. years. 13 years. They, are still, they are still glowing. <laughs> acting like children. <laughs> so, what we're trying to say is that it doesn't wane with age. Sure. Mm. If you are intentional about creating that spark, mm. by now they know each other's. They, they know each other as what we call MU MU button or what we call red spots. Where when you click it, you will know that yeah. you, you get this reaction because that's what experience does for you you know the people say that uh, familiarity creates uh, contempt but we think familiarity is to be a woman it's like old wine mm -hmm. exactly it's like old wine because the more i know her the more i know what to do yeah. put a smile on her face absolutely yeah go on and play yeah i mean it's like old wine you know yeah. when it's age ages it's it tastes sweeter mm -hmm. so you don't mm -hmm. just um you don't just 
say you know what because mm. it's that long you know mm. we've lost it mm. i think we just started mm. Mm. Yeah. we just started mm. and mm. every year for me it's not even mm. like some people take their marriage like a project for mm. me it's a journey mm. you know so every year there is mm. something to anticipate there's something to mm. look up to mm. look out for mm. what is going to be happening this year what's going to be interesting about mm. our relationship this year mm. so i look forward to it mm. yes. that's beautiful. Super, super, beautiful. Super. Super. Okay. Okay, I think we've done justice to the subject of romance. Mm-hmm. Um, what is intimacy? Well, um, I like the way one of my wonderful features defined intimacy. Mm-hmm. TDJ says intimacy mm-hmm. is into me, you see. Mm-hmm. Um, intimacy is getting to that point where mm-hmm. you know this person mm-hmm. inside the out. Mm-hmm. Because without knowledge, mm-hmm. there won't be intimacy. Mm-hmm. Some people get married thinking they are intimate. Mm-hmm. But what they, they, they experience at that point mm-hmm. could be attraction. Mm-hmm. But once you start knowing the character of this person, the weaknesses, the strengths, and the person is open to you, mm-hmm. shares with you um, secrets, mm-hmm. their secrets, be open to the point of showing her point of weaknesses mm. and be open to share her passion. Yes. Yeah. There is that openness, deep mm. level communication. Mm. And you know who this person is, not because the person wants to impress you, but this person is real to you. Fantastic. At that point, based on the knowledge you have, and you're at the same time open to this person. Mm. You don't have things. You, you don't want to talk and you're feeling I need to reserve mm. some things. Mm. Then you guys are intimate. Mm. You're close. Mm. And intimacy is not something you just talk about. Yeah. It is an experience. Mm. If you're there, you're there. Mm. And yeah. what that means is um, you don't just see the physical aspect of it. Mm. You can look through the person's mind mm. and know how this person is thinking. For instance, mm. if my wife is saying something to me, I know when she's not there. Absolutely. I know when she's going through things mm. without her telling me. Mm. And at that point, because we are intimate, I should be able to, you know, connect with her to say, honey, I know what you're going through mm. and I can support you. I'll be there for you. I don't yeah. know if you want to add to that. Yeah, I want mm. to add to that uh, because yeah. uh, a lot of times in a, in a space where we have been raised, you mm-hmm. know, being an African, Mm. Um, and I'll just speak because you kind of touched on the women, you know, for, for the men, it's it's difficult most times to let their guard down. Mm. And a lot of times they want to only show that they're strong, they're powerful. Mm. And it's okay. It's okay to, to show your weakness. Mm. I mean, if you have made a commitment to somebody mm. and you say, I'm going to be spending the rest of my life with you, then I should be able to to see beyond the covers, you know, I should yes. be able to see through you. I mean, there are times that in my relationship with my husband, I can, we can be thinking the same thing, right? But it's it's a journey. It didn't get to this point, right? You said something really profound at the start. It's about the knowledge. Intimacy comes with knowledge and you have to be intentional to want to know about this person without being judgmental mm. because especially at the start of your relationship and this is for newlyweds there are a lot of things to be uncovered mm. right and once those things are uncovered right just be open to receive what's being said without judging the other person and then say you know what i hear you i hear what you say now we want to have a path for our relationship and the more you spend time opening and unpacking and offloading what's on your mind, what is on his mind, mm. even the weaknesses and just being vulnerable with each other, that is such an amazing place to be. Mm. Because sometimes people feel that, you know, I shouldn't be telling my spouse about my weakness. I shouldn't mm. let them know when I'm so down. Mm. You know, it's okay. Mm. Even if you are a power woman mm. and you're in your career doing your stuff, you know, doing nailing all the, you know, whatever it is you do, crushing the goals, crushing the goals mm. it's okay to have that one man, which is your safe space. Mm. Mm. Yeah, but the other thing you have to consider is the fact that sometimes people are not vulnerable as much as they need to because 
they are not in a safe space. Mm. Right. They don't. The the level of trust is not there. Mm. For instance, if you're married to someone whose character has created a kind of disconnect, mm. Mm. you don't trust this person. Mm. For if I'm dishonest to you. I've said things to you, and at the end of the day, you realize that most of the things I've said to you are not correct. Mm. Then you will not be vulnerable. It's a question. Exactly. So intimacy happens when the two people are on the same page. Mm. Two cannot work together mm. except there is an agreement, and that agreement moves beyond a verbal agreement. You're looking at emotional agreement. You're looking at um, having one mind, one purpose, having a goal. You, you walk the As same a, path and the same direction. Sure. So, so that's the point around it. So if you want to build intimacy with your spouse, if you're not open, mm. your, your, your yes is your no, mm. where your no is your yes, mm. and this person doesn't really know you, there's no sense of trust, complete trust. Mm. I can't be intimate with you if I don't trust. That's true. Yeah. Then that, that's you true. are the reason you're not enjoying intimacy. That's mm. true. Fantastic. We, 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 we look at it very similar to how you look at it. There are a lot of key pillars that mm-hmm. we look at when we're talking about intimacy, which you mentioned. Number one, connection. Mm-hmm. That's the connection. Because if you connect with someone, you connect with people maybe at the mental level, you connect with people Absolutely. at the emotional level, you connect with people their worldview, mm-hmm. that connection has to be there. Mm-hmm. Uh, you also look at trust. Mm-hmm. Without trust, you can't really build relationship. Because mm-hmm. when people are guarded, they can't connect. That's true. And when they can't connect, they can't move or scale the relationship to the next level. And then if there's no care, mm-hmm. when someone is only thinking about themselves, me, myself, mm-hmm. and I, like, mm-hmm. you can't really connect. So for us, it's about touching this key pillar. She talked about vulnerability. She talked about vulnerability, which is fundamental to our intimacy. You can't, you can't be vulnerable with someone. In fact, you know when you don't trust the person. So they're all kind of connected, yeah. right? You know, so intimacy ultimately is about driving you to being one. That's true. Not being the same. Yep. Being one. Mm. Being the same is a different thing. All right, no I don't think anyone can be the same. Nobody can be the same because there's only one you in the whole world. Because yeah. Some people think being one means being the same. Oh, I like to be like my husband. I like to be like my and wife. Then they lose you know, themselves. And then they lose their individuality. Yes. And so they're asking themselves, who am I? I'm just a shadow of myself. I mean, I used to be this, this, that, that. Five years into the marriage, I can't even recognize myself. The aim of intimacy is not to be the same, but to be one. One in your view of managing finance, for example. Absolutely. One in your view of how many children do you want. Mm-hmm. One in your view. So it's about is that dance of creating that reading mm-hmm. such that he says something concept. that was very yes. Being a concept. Being a concept. Mm-hmm. He said something that was very profound. He said, I can look at my wife and I will know what she's going through. It's a reading mm-hmm. that they have built over a period of time. That's true. All right. So you build that reading with someone that you just flow. You can just be far away, you just from the sound of her voice on the phone. And then what's the problem? Some other people will hear and they hear the same amount. Mm. He will hear a different person. Mm. And because of that reason, they can flow mm. at a certain point. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. You're doing justice to the question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I okay. actually wanted to throw a question to us, but it's okay. <laughs> because I was looking at it that sometimes people would want that intimacy. Yeah. Mm. But they don't know how. Yes. Mm. Because of where they are raised. Yeah. Because of life experiences yes. Yes. so they really want to connect so mm. the problem is not them mm. it is maybe the individual mm. how do you now deal mm. yeah. you know because you mm. kind of with this person and mm. their lived experience yeah. mm. just the way we are talking intimacy and someone really want to yeah mm. then my husband and i or my wife and i have mm. this yeah. They want to have it, but they don't know how. Mm. You know, you know, it's it's a journey because you know she said something. You said it's 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 about creating a safe space, space where you can think aloud, where you can be seen, where you can be yourself. Mm. All right. So if you are being socialized, that being yourself is detrimental to your well-being. So someone probably when you were growing up, you were vulnerable, and then someone uses it against you. Mm. You've been socialized over a period of time. You heard. Uh, significant people in your life tell you that hey, don't share your secret, don't do this and you'll be raised like that, now you are 31 you're getting married, you can't just flip all your scripts, mm-hmm. you have to go through a process of re- reprogramming your mind, that's why um, a man said that the literature of the future is not those who cannot read and write, but those who cannot learn relearn and online, so Absolutely. for you to enter a new space 
a new experience. Getting married is a new space. You have to learn to share. If you don't learn to be vulnerable, you cannot have that intimacy. So it's not going to be like, oh, now I'm getting married, I'm going to be intimate. No. <laughs> yeah. You have to now see, you know what, this is this is how I've been raised. Now, am I going to stay like this? Mm -hmm. If you stay like that, you have a choice to make. That's your choice. Mm -hmm. If you want to have intimacy, you have to make a different choice. Mm -hmm. Because um, we can't be the way we are and try to have a different experience. Yeah. Because who we are is what will bring you to that relationship. That's true. So to have a certain heightened experience, you have to become a different you. You have to evolve. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So being evolved means being vulnerable. You have to learn. It's a skill that you have to learn. Mm -hmm. So today, I'm going to tell my wife where I am with my boys. So that's, that, that's you. Okay, you're somewhere. You just call your wife and just say, oh, uh, she's not asking you. You're just telephoning. Yeah, I'm with Dr. Amara. I'm, I'm speaking with Dr. Gospel. We're having this video. This, 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 this. You're learning. It's just, before, you are coded about everything. Someone is asking yeah. you, where are you? Why do you want to know? <laughs> you throw the question back to them. Yeah. That's how you are. Because you've built it as a survivor skill. Yeah. Now you are in a new space where those skills are not going to be obstacles. Mm. That's true. It's like when you're building a when you're building a house, those people who are doing the foundation. You don't need them when you are roofing. They're going to damage the place. Ah, sure. So you need a different set of skills. So mm. that's one of the ways to say, you know what? Little steps. Okay, today I'm going to be vulnerable. Today I'm going to say he said something about when someone keeps lying to their spouse. You know, some people you develop that. That is a skill that you have because you were dishonest in the past, mm. you know, probably to earn a living, and you went to jail, you came out, you paid the price, now you want to turn a new leaf. Yeah. But that habit is there. Mm. So you have to say, today I'm going to say the truth. All right? Even if it's, I'm penalized for it. Because you need to develop that muscle. Mm. That's true. All right? Over a period of time. And help you, you have a spouse that is really supportive. It will make the journey worthwhile. It will make the journey easier. Mm. So, so, because sometimes when you say the truth to some people, they'll be like, they will be looking at you because they also have their own issues. That's true. Because crazy mm -hmm. attract crazy. I'm sorry for using that <laughs> word. So if you are in a bad place, you are likely to attract your type. Yep. So mm -hmm. both of you have to grow through that journey because the bed of a feather you know, flock together. So you guys have to commit that this is what we want to do. What do we need to do? So you have to say, okay, we're going to start by being vulnerable. What does that mean for us in our family? This is what it means. And let's stick by that. And then you'll be like supporting each other. After the period, it will take a while because mm -hmm. you are actually reparenting yourself. That's true. That's the essence what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So that will really, really help. Yeah. yeah, I think you've taken it uh, far and beyond. So obviously to add to what you said, I think communication is key. Mm -hmm. you, you just have to learn to communicate because mm -hmm. you cannot mm -hmm. be intimate mm -hmm. with someone mm -hmm. if they don't know you, mm -hmm. you don't share. Mm -hmm. Learn to Sometimes men, mm. some people think communication is not necessary. This is who I am. Yeah. I'm closed up with my personality. Mm. I don't have to. You have to learn to communicate. Mm. The way I talk now is not how I used to talk mm. 10 years ago. Mm. I realized that for you to have a good marriage, mm. you must learn to share. So mm. you know, mm. Learn to speak up. So mm. I would say to you listening to us or watching this video, mm. um, you want to be intimate, Start with sharing. Start mm. talking. Talk. Mm. You know, put away the phones. Out. Mm. <laughs> because sometimes mm. people just come into a room and they're like, mm. with the phones, mm. right? Mm. Just keep the phone yeah. out mm. and sit one hour mm. with your significant other mm. and just talk. Mm. I like what you said. You yes. call that the 60 minute challenge. Mm. For every couple, you may want to do that. Mm. 60 minute challenge. Mm. Okay? Put the phone aside and mm. talk for one hour mm. uninterrupted. Mm. That's the other really awkward. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There was something he said. I want to dig deeper. He said, the way I talk now is not the way I talk mm. 10 yeah. years ago or 13 years ago, uh, um, from what you said earlier. Yeah. So, can you tell us the difference? Well, the difference is when, if, in fact, I can go back to when I met my wife, mm. then I used to be the listener. Mm. Not necessarily because mm. I wanted to listen to all the stories she would tell me mm. or all the things she would say because mm. I felt I wasn't a good communicator. Mm. Yeah. So she would talk, I would ask questions, mm. and then I would laugh, I would feel happy about the conversation. Mm. But as time progressed, mm. especially before we got married, an early stage of our marriage, mm. I realized that she was expecting me to do the talking. Mm. Mm. It flipped. Mm. So 
at this stage, it was like you were a bit uncomfortable. I was uncomfortable <laughs> because I've always then you're like, mm, I like I've like always enjoyed her talking. <laughs> I was like, you enjoy listening to my voice. I want to listen to your voice. <laughs> So, mm. so now I I realized that I needed to mm. do the talking. Fantastic. And it's not something that happens overnight. Fantastic. It starts with little things, mm. little just talk about anything. Mm. Learn to do it because you need it. Even as parents, one of the key things you will teach your children mm. is how to communicate. Mm. You have a feeling. Mm. Mm know how to express it mm. yeah can i just share something yes, yes. Really, um, because mm. i remember one of the things you told me mm. about why you were holding back mm. in terms of communication was that you felt um you needed to be sure about what you wanted to say mm. and it was down to the environment you were raised mm. that sort of impacted you in the point to the point where you felt i can't open up my mouth to say anything until i'm 100 percent sure mm. and i felt well it's you talking, it's communication. You mm. speak and I respond. You don't mm. have to figure out every single line and sentence before mm. you speak. Mm. And, and maybe someone listening to us now, maybe you've been through an experience mm. and it's kind of cost you to hold back. Mm. So you rather not speak or you just listen. Mm. But you don't understand how you can elevate your relationship. Mm. Just because, by opening mm, up mm, and talking to that person yeah. and let them find out who is this individual that I am with. Yeah, I think one of the reasons people don't talk, which is my which was my case then, was because I had an opportunity to share in public mm. and I did not do well. You didn't perform. Mm. I didn't do well. Mm. And it, you were mocked for it. It was it was a, an experience I lived yes, with sir. for a long time. Yeah. Mm. And why? Because people, I felt, would judge me. Mm. And this is why people don't open up. Yeah. Mm. Because you think if I share with yes. this person, mm. how am I going to be good? Like? How am I going to be passive? Mm. This person is going to judge me. Yeah. Mm. To judge my the sound of my voice. Mm. To judge my English. To Did I accent. make the right sentence? Mm. Yeah. My accent. Mm. Put everything together. This mm. is why people don't. Yeah. Up. Mm. So if you have poor self-image, mm. you don't believe in yourself, you don't believe, you don't like the sound of your voice, mm. then you have issues coming to Yeah. But these are barriers that can be broken. If I, so if I was able to, I still work on myself. I mean, no one is a work in progress. Mm. But if I could get to this point of looking at the camera and talking, <laughs> I may not want that. I'd like to point out something here. Instead of being accusatory, she was inquisitive. She was curious. Why don't you talk? Mm-hmm. Instead of saying, you don't so talk about that, that, that encouraging him to yeah. even think about why you don't talk. Because sometimes you don't even know that you're not talking. Yeah. Because it's just a, an unconscious decision you yeah. made in the past. So that helps. Mm-hmm. That's what we talked about. Having a spouse that facilitates, that helps you. Mm-hmm. You know, be the best, be a, you know, uh, a better version of yourself. Of yourself. Yeah, in that regard. Wow, this is getting sweeter. <laughs> yeah, I'm loving it. You know, when you asked that question, I was just thinking, anyone asking that question um, has already shown some willingness. And I think that's critical. Mm. That people in a relationship are willing mm. to be intimate. Mm. It's been an amazing, great. amazing, amazing mm. session with you. Mm. Thank you. Thank you for being so open. Thank mm. you for being so vulnerable. Mm. Thank you for just um, pouring out mm. you know, from your wealth of knowledge. Mm. Um, uh, and to our audience, I mean, you will agree that they have been amazing. Mm. We will leave all of their information in mm. the description yes. box. So if you click on it, mm. it will connect you. You may want to check out their YouTube channel mm. as well, Relationship Builders Forum. Yes. Uh, they have a wealth of resources mm. that will benefit you. Absolutely. It's been amazing mm. doing this. Mm. Thank Thank you so much. Thank, thank you for having us. We could go on and on. Yes, yes, thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you.